A spokesperson for Governor John Bell Edwards told our partners at the Times-Picayune New Orleans Advocate that President Trump today called the governor to congratulate him on his runoff win. And Edwards not only beat Republican Eddie Rispone, but he also defeated President Trump's push to steer the election. Tan Trung takes a look at what the race says about the president's influence. Feeling confident after his victory, Governor John Bell Edwards finally addressed the shadow that President Trump cast over the Louisiana governor's race. And as for the president, God bless his heart. In Southern style, that's about the sharpest elbow Edwards threw at the president, who bluntly told voters Edwards was no good for Louisiana. He delivered that message through his three visits to the state leading up to the runoff. He endorsed Eddie Rispone, but in many ways, the president made the election about him. So Trump took a look, so you got to give me a big win, please, okay? Okay? That big win never came. The president is one for three in his involvement in gubernatorial races this year. He backed the Republican candidate in Mississippi, who won. But in Kentucky and now Louisiana, the Trump endorsements fell short. Political analyst Ron Fauche says the recent losses indicate that a backing by Mr. Trump for candidates in 2020 may not translate to wins. And certainly in swing states and in swing congressional district, that Donald Trump is not necessarily going to be a plus for the Republican Party in this election, even though he still will carry his own base and his own voters when his name is on the ballot. Louisiana Congressman Steve Scalise told Fox News President Trump made the race competitive. Eddie Rispone was at about 27 in the primary. He ended up at 49. Uh, so clearly President Trump's involvement made a big difference at helping close that massive gap. That may be true, but in politics, second place doesn't count. Despite the weight of the White House, this Democrat now gets a second term. Tom Trump, Eyewitness News. Political analyst Ron Fauche says despite the losses in the governor's races, he believes the president will carry traditionally Republican states in the 2020 presidential election.